There are 10 orders of the Knights Radiant and I want to know which one I am. We are going to take Brandon Sanderson's official quiz about which order of the Knights Radiant that you belong in. And so I'll put the link for this in the comments as well. So you can do it as well. So, okay, I'm trying to think. I think that I will probably be an edge dancer. And the reason I say that I think is because it just seems to be like, it's, it's pretty cool power being all like slippery and slidey and, but mostly it's because you can heal people. And I think that that is just like a really cool ability to have. And it seems to align with like who I am as a person. So that's my prediction. And so now we're going to take the official test and we will find out which order I belong in. Okay, so it says, the fate of Rosher hangs in the balance. And once again, the Radiant Spren seek to bond with humankind. The Knight's Radiant must stand again. So I basically have to move these sliders. Okay, so here we go. Heart on sleeve or poker face? I feel, I feel like I'm definitely a heart on sleeve kind of girl. I have no poker face. It's really, really bad. So maybe like, maybe like a 90% because it's like, I'm like, <laughs> I could be talking to someone and I'm like trying to not look like what they're saying is absolute ridiculousness and I'll just be like okay confident and needs reassurance mm, I, this is something I'm working on so I think I still am in like the the needs reassurance line mm, maybe like 65 needs reassurance 35 no actually that doesn't sound right I think it is more confidence actually okay we'll do 43 confidence and 57 needs reassurance. I think that's fair. Cautious or Darren? I am not Darren. <laughs> I am very cautious as a human being. Um, let's make it 94% because maybe there's like that 6% where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna like eat the spices in or something. I don't know. Library or dojo? We already know. Wolf pack or lone wolf? I'm definitely more of a lone wolf kind of person. Like I, I like people obviously, like I have friends, but I am completely happy to just chill on that couch for hours, not having to talk, not having to move, just breathe with my book or stare off into space or just have my own me time. So we'll give it like a 95% a lone wolf. Peacemaker or Firebrand? I'm definitely a peacemaker. Like 100%, there's no no other option for me. I am always trying to keep the peace, always trying to find like the ways that everybody can agree on something and nobody is mad at each other or fighting with each other or having any issues. Like I'm a peacekeeper. Spiritual or skeptical? Hmm. I think I'm definitely more skeptical I would love to be more spiritual as a person, but uh, it's just not part of me. Like I love, I love the comfort that that gives, but my brain is like, mm -mm, nah, we skeptics, so we skeptic. But maybe we'll make 93, maybe there's like that 7%, like that 7% where I'm like, I wish that like that. So that's my 7%. Leader or facilitator? I think I naturally like incline towards being a leader, even though I'm like, I don't, it's like weird. I contradict myself so many times. It's like, I don't like to be in the spotlight, but I can't help but be drawn to leadership roles. And I always have in everything I've ever done, all the jobs I've had, all the volunteering I've had, I've always done the leadership then. It's just the way that I kind of gravitate, which maybe it's, <laughs> maybe it's my control issues that I'm like, I just need everything to be done my way. but. Either way, like that's, it's kind of the way we be. So we'll be like a 98% leader because I like to just like take over and do stuff. But there's like that 2% where I'm like, okay, you do it. But then I'm like, mm, but my way's better, you know? <laughs> Guard dog or alley cat? I don't really know what that means to be honest. <laughs> I think guard dog is like, you are you're itching for a fight and alley cat is like you're kind of meek and you run away maybe that's the way i get it so i think i'm gonna give myself more of an alley cat than a guard dog but 
if it's a guard dog, like for people that I care about, like if my friends or my family members were like in some bad situations, I can get over my fear of whatever and I can do and like I would I would punch someone in the face for my friends and family I would but if someone was attacking me I'd be like no don't do it so uh, maybe I'm like a 77% alley cat 23% guard dog compassionate or dispassionate I think this is a really easy one for me I feel like I'm just like a very compassionate human being <laughs> there was one time when I was eight years old and I still think about this all the time I killed a spider because it was in the bathroom and I cried and like I cried so hard I threw up <laughs> um yeah that's just you know and actually hey this actually works on the next question heart or head I'm definitely a heart kind of person there are definitely times where I'll be like okay wait heart we need to pause for a second and we need to think this through which is just something that seems to come with like life experience as I get older but my heart definitely leads the way so I think I'm like a nine, let's do a 90% heart, 10% head. Flamboyant or reserved? I think that we wanna go more flamboyant than reserved, which again, this is another contradiction because I'm like, oh, like I'm like a lone wolf kind of girl. Like I wanna just like stay in and stuff. But my, I have a very like <laughs> clown personality, I guess. Like, I don't know, I'm just like, trying to be entertaining and always entertaining everybody around me and just being my myself and sometimes myself is a little bit strange so yeah that's yeah definitely more in the flamboyant way like i'm not i don't know how else to explain it letter of the law or spirit of the law i don't really understand the difference between this one like i understand letter of the law but i don't understand spirit of the law Maybe if you're like a little loose on the law and you follow the law like based on your own interpretations or your own kind of values of the law. I think that would make sense because if it's like you're following the letter the law to a T versus you're not because it's like those are the two sides of it. I would say if that's the case, I'm probably like 65% letter of the law, 35% spirit of the law. And that's only if like my description is like how it actually, what that actually means. Free spirited or disciplined. I'm very disciplined. I need to like learn to chill. <laughs> I need to give myself a 95% disciplined and a 5% free spirit. I'm very rigid. I'm very soldier like, um, is what it is obedient or rebellious. I am not rebellious at all. I didn't even have a rebellious streak as a teenager. I think the most rebellious thing I ever did as a teenager is I went on my bike and I went outside of like the zone where I was allowed to like bike around and I just like biked an extra block and I was like, wow, I'm so rebellious. I am not rebellious. I am very obedient. Um, But I'm gonna give myself like a little bit of wiggle room for that maybe maybe there's a time I'm rebellious and not really, but there's always room to grow. And I don't want to give these like a hundred percent here and there. Cause I feel like that's going to skew with the results. So let's give myself a 96 obedient and a 4% rebellious. Ooh. Okay. I like this one. Creative or conventional. This one I'm going to give myself, um, a 97% creative and a 3% conventional. And the reason, well, obviously I mentioned my reason for why I don't want to give it a hundred, but the reason I wouldn't even give it a 99 is because, because of my letter to the law, if there's like a thing where it's like, okay, you need to do it da 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 way. Sometimes I will do it exactly as requested, but most of the time I'll put my own little spin on it. So yeah. Dependable or flexible. Ooh, I think I'm both though. Hmm. I think I'm more dependable though. Ooh, but okay, let's do a like a 60% dependable and a 40% flexible because I think if I'm trying to think about them, I think people can depend on me more than me being flexible, but I am both of those things, I guess. Down to earth or head in the clouds? Mm, I think I'm, I feel like I'm ahead in the clouds. I feel like I'm just like never, 
here. <laughs> Let's give myself a 73% head in the clouds and a 27% down to earth. That seems to be right to me, I don't know. <laughs> Thinks outside of the box or colors inside the lines. I am definitely more of a think outside of the box, but there are instances where I will follow the rules exactly as is and color inside the lines. But most of the times I kind of make my own lines and my own boxes and my own whatchamacallit. So um, yeah, we'll do 90% for that and then 10% for out. Cause sometimes if you get like too into a routine, you stop, at least I find, you get so into it that you stop adding your own flair because you're just doing it one way and you're like, you become kind of like an assembly line. like. Tch, tch, Sometimes, definitely guilty of doing that. Not often, but I have, so. Tense or relaxed. Now, for people who know me in person, I think they would be like, wow, yeah, you're a very tense person. But people, you see me on YouTube, you're like, oh yeah, like you're so relaxed, you're so chill. I am a very tense human being. Like, I feel like I'm just never able to relax. I'm just constantly like buzzing with anxiety. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely always very tense and I'm like, oh. I'm like sweating about something, panicking about something. I'm sitting down trying to read and then I have to like get up and clean my bathroom because all I can think about is my bathroom and I'm tense and I'm thinking about it. Okay, yeah, you know, you can feel it just the way I'm talking. So let's take a deep breath. Decisive or indecisive? I am very indecisive. Which is funny because I was so decisive at my indecisiveness right there. Um, so let's give myself an 86% indecisive and a 14% decisive because this actually is something that I'm working on being more decisive. Whereas before I'd be like, oh, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. So I'm trying to make decisions as I grow older in this world. Likes change, likes stability. I like stability. I definitely do. I get really antsy when things start to change and devolve like when things kind of step out of their regular, like the routine that I know and I love and I respect. And so when that happens, I'm like, oh, what? No, stop, go back, go back. Please don't go away. I like the way that this is. So if I miss my 100 pages of book in the morning or like throughout the day or whatever, I'll be like panicking because that's not my usual routine. I like my routine, I like my stability. So maybe we might actually increase this a bit more. Let's do 94%. <laughs> planner or spontaneous? I am a giant planner. I'm not really spontaneous at all. I've had spontaneous moments. So we'll give myself like a 3%. Uh, maybe we'll give myself a 5%. Why not? 5% spontaneous, 95% planner. I am a big planner. I plan out every single thing. I plan out what I'm gonna wear the next morning. I plan out exactly step by step what my day is going to look like, which is why I think when some change comes from my predetermined day, I'm like, ah, stop it. No, this is not according to plan. Ends justify the means or honorable actions. I definitely am more towards honorable actions. I feel like just doing the right thing is just what you're supposed to do. And I think that that's what you should do. Like if it feels like it's the right thing to do and it aligns with your morals and your values and it's inherently just the right thing to do, I'll do it. Um, ends justify the means. I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I feel like I just don't really, like I understand it. And I know sometimes you have to do things that are uncomfortable, like potentially mean or seen the wrong way for other people. But I don't know, I feel like that's just like too mean for me. Like, I don't know, but I give myself a 2% because there's definitely times where I have, have to do it, but definitely more towards like doing the right thing, the honorable actions and I don't know, helping the old lady walk across the street or digging out a car that got stuck in a snowbank, something like that. Ooh, playful or serious? Definitely playful. <laughs> I can be serious when I have to be, but it always feels like some weird fake version of me. We're actually gonna make that higher. Um, so like, I am very playful and very just like this. This is just who I am. Like I, when I'm like serious, it's like really weird because it doesn't feel like me. So like at work, sometimes I have to be like serious. I'm like, yeah, so we need to do this then. Like, I don't use that voice. Um, but yeah, I am not, I am not a serious person at all. I love to have fun. My life is all about just having fun, doing things I enjoy. And that's kind of like something I live by. Like I like to have fun and it's my life 
and I want to enjoy it. I don't want to be all serious all the time, you know? Tells the truth, bends the truth. I think I bend the truth often, um, just as like a, I don't know, maybe it's like a, a defense mechanism or something, like you don't want to get in trouble. Um, but I definitely work more towards like telling the truth. Sometimes I'll change it a little bit, but not all the time. So let's do like a 66% bends the truth, 34% tells the truth. Likes to take things apart. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, if it's not broken, don't fix it. There's no point. 93%. 7%, no, it's still too high. 5%, okay. Yeah. Likes to take, I don't really like to take things apart. It, like it's, it's already built. <laughs> I don't want to rebuild anything. So yeah, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's, it's already good. It's fine. Hotel or camping. I think... Like, I love the idea of camping, but when I actually do it, I get really sweaty, I'm really thirsty, I wanna have a shower. So we're gonna give it more 66% hotel, 34% camping, because camping has some really great aspects. I love the smell of fire. I love cooking little marshmallows and hot dogs in the fire and chatting around, like hanging out with friends. Even building the tent is really fun and the sounds of nature, especially when you wake up in the morning and maybe there's like some rain hit in your tent. I absolutely love that but it's the lack of shower that gets me. That's what gets me every time. If there's a way to like bring a shower to the camping, then I think I would like it because it's a good time. But yeah, hotels all the way because you know, you're clean and you're warm and you have unlimited water and actual running water. Fencing or boxing? I don't, uh, I don't know any of those. Um, I guess if I had to pick, I'm, I'm forced here to pick, but I mean, I'd rather fence than box. I don't like the idea of getting punched in the face, so. Mm, I don't know. 80% fencing, 20% boxing. I feel like I don't really care about any of those things though. Artistic or scientific? Definitely more on the artistic side. I am a very creative person by nature. And I think that it's kind of similar again with like the following your heart or not like for me at least like being creative you're really following your heart even if it doesn't always make sense and then whereas if you're more scientific more logical you're following your brain more and I follow my heart way more than my brain and I'm more artistic than I am scientific so let's do like a 93% and a 7% book smart or street smart I have like no street smarts like at all <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm so like hibernating of a person. I'm always just hibernating in here. But yeah, I'm definitely more book smart. I'm a very like academic kind of person. Like when I went to college and stuff, I was the, the top of the class and like all that good stuff. Book smart. However, if I was to be thrown in the street, uh, I would probably get like stabbed or something and just like <laughs> paladin or rogue. Hmm. I'm a mage though. Why is the mage not there? The mage is the best. Okay. Um, I don't really care about any of these ones though. I don't know. 58% <laughs> rogue, 42% paladin. Competitive or casual? I am hyper competitive, especially with myself. I am more competitive with myself than I am with anybody else. Like, there's definitely people that in my head that I compete with and people like, even people I don't know I compete with, but the person I compete with the most is myself. Like, how can I be a better version of myself than I was yesterday and the day before and the day before? So constantly competing with a future version of myself. Transparency or need to know? Hmm. I think transparency. We're gonna go more for transparency. 78% transparency, 22% need to know. And I think I choose this because like, I think it's important to be transparent, but like not everybody needs to know every single thing about you um, or about some situation or some event or anything like that. So yeah, 22% need to know. I think it's a fair agreement. All right, it's time to say the words. Let's see what we got. Ooh, an edge dancer. That's what I thought. Okay. So speak again the ancient oaths. Life before death, strength before weakness, journey before destination. Edge dancer, I will remember. You're an edge dancer, which gives you access to surge of abrasion and progression and regrowth. Abrasion, 
No, it's abrasion. Abrasion allows you to make objects, including yourself, frictionless. Progression and regrowth allows you to heal organisms and alter their growth. Edge dancers are known for being caring and graceful. Among the Knights Radiant, they see it as their duty to care for the common people and are often less interested in war than they are about trying to improve the daily lives of common folk. Often, a mid-sized town would have an edge dancer or two on a permanent assignment where they'd use regrowth to provide healing and would work for the common good of the town. Edge dancers tend to be among the more religious of the Radiants and is the order where you're like most likely to find former religious leaders who ended up bonding as friend. During war times, they often acted as mobile medics, ensuring actual combat to heal or pull out the wounded or those trapped in terrible situations. However, there are some renowned for their graceful and skill, graceful and skilled prowess in combat, occasionally used as scouts or special troops in conjunction with a team of windrunners or skybreakers. One should never assume the Ed Dancers are in any way based. Just because they often ignore high society, they are renowned as some of the most refined and graceful radiance. Ooh, so now we can see. Oh, it's very close to Lightweaver. Really? Windrunner, Truth Watcher, Will Shaper, False Caller, Skybreaker. Yeah, it makes Death Brainers at the bottom for sure. That's cool. Okay, let's learn more about Edge Dancers here. Ooh, look at all that. Oh. Very fun. Okay, so on the Edge Dancer page here, it says, Edge Dancer oaths are themed around remembering the ordinary people of the world, those who aren't powerful generals or radiants. Too often, the actions of powerful have terrible effects on people with no voice, and the Edge Dancers consider it their solemn duty to remember the people are the ones they truly serve. The Edge Dancers are known as being careful, sorry, the Edge Dancers are known as being caring and graceful among the Knights Radiant. They see it as their duty to care for people and are often less interested in war than they are about trying to improve the daily lives of common folk. Often a mid-sized town would have an Edge Dancer or two. That was what we had in the, the quiz there. Um, this was also in the quiz. Okay, yeah, the rest of it was already in the quiz, but yeah, that's cool. So I, I guess you're right. So thanks so much for watching. I am officially an edge dancer, which is very cool. If you've taken the quiz, or maybe you should go take the quiz right now, and then comment down below, what order of the Knights Radiant are you a part of? Are you a fellow edge dancer? Can we go dancing on the edge together? We'll find out. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. That way you get notified anytime a new video comes out. If you enjoyed this video, and if you love being part of the Stormlight Archive, fandom, I don't know what, what it's called, but that whole great universe, Cosmere fandom, Brandon Sanderson, Sandronauts, I've seen a bunch of different names, let me know what that's called. But yeah, if you're part of that, definitely hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!